Gabahorn. Why is she flirty? <laughs> Hi everybody, it is Hayani and this is part 2 of the Sims 4 murder challenge. Murder, death, whatever you want to call it. If you did not get to check out part 1, I do recommend you try that. It is in the description below. We did the first 5 deaths, which were exhaustion, sauna, drowning. I attempted to do hysteria, but that was quite a fail. Uh, angry death, and I think it was one more. I think we did embarrassment. Um, but yeah, check that one out. Right now, I'm just editing the house because before it was a little inconvenient to trap all the Sims and keep them where I need them to be. Um, but yeah, check that first video out and then pop back in here. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I decided to go about this a different way. So hopefully this will work. We have it set up now so that the two girls that are supposed to die in a fire are in the same room. I don't even care which one it is. One of them has to die um, by a house fire. One of them has to start by a rocket crash. I do have a fire alarm in here. So when it does go off, I can teleport one of the girls out of the room. I don't want them both to die or I lose. Um, we still have Hope in here. She's starving, which is pretty sad. But, you know, I gave her a um, nice, comfortable bed, a little TV so she could have some entertainment. And I did give her access to the bathroom. I decided to take the sink out because uh, drinking water also counts towards food. Sergio is in here. I feel so bad for him. Um, we're trying to break the radios and the television right now. So I have all the cheap radios on. We already have the broken sink and toilet from the downstairs bathroom. Uh, up here now, I figure it'll up the chances of him getting electrocuted when they break. So, he's just pretty much going to be tortured. He can't even sleep because it's so much noise. Okay, we have Marquise down here. Marquise Vegas, we kidnapped him. We kidnapped uh, Yumiko uh, as well. But, yeah, we kidnapped Sergio. He is going to suffer from a cow plant death, so we just have him tending to the two cow plant berries that we planted yesterday. So I think it's going to be one more day until those are ready. And our elderly Sim, Winona, is almost at her prime, so, you know, she just has a couple days left. My um, hopes is that everyone else will die before Winona does and hopefully Winona will be the last death. We do have to kidnap another sim so I'm gonna probably try and find one or I'll probably make one to add because they didn't say we had to you know befriend them and add them to the household. But anyway yeah I think I'm going to find another sim to add to the household because we have to do the puffer fish death. Right now everyone is sleeping except for Sergio. Okay, Serge. Okay, you can stop watching TV. Go ahead and try and sleep. 
I know in like The Sims 3 they had the light sleeper trait so they couldn't sleep with so much noise on. I don't know if they'll be able to sleep with all the noise but <laughs> we will see. All of our simmies are asleep. I will pop back when it is morning and everyone's up. Okay everyone, I found our new sim. She just happened to be taking a jog. She is a plant sim. Obviously she wasn't dressed like this. I just had to edit her really quickly because I don't know what in the world <laughs> sims had her in. So she is going to be our pufferfish victim. We have to find it. I saw that if you go to Samashuno and find the Japanese stand um it'd work so i just have to figure out how we're gonna work around that i think for now let me see what your motives are since we did just steal you she's a little hungry oh, she only needs sunlight so we have to wait until the morning for her to eat um whose tv are you going to look at because i'm pretty sure everybody's door is locked and you can't go anywhere oh that's gonna be a problem too you need a bedroom probably should have thought about that before i kidnapped you um, I can just put another bed in here. Let me do that quick. So she'll have some. Oh, actually, you know what? Just sleep on the couch. That sounds so rude, but you're going to die anyway, so. So originally I was going to edit this out because it was a really long scene and it didn't have anything to do with the plot, like killing off all of my sims. But a few of my sims I kidnapped. So like, uh, I, he ended up getting a call. And I answered it, it was for a date, and I decided, you know, what the hell, he's going to die anyway, let's let him go on a date. And I don't know if you see his uh, contacts are open right now, and the first three individuals are his son, his daughter, and his wife. So I found out I kidnapped a man who, like, had a whole family, it was so sad, so I was letting them, you know, bond for the last time, I wasn't going to let him up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the other Sims that I had also had families, she just actually cared about him. There were like several times throughout gameplay where she would like call and just ask to spend time with him. So I was going to invite her back, but I was like, it's not fair to everyone else. I just knew his time was coming since the cow plants were here. So, you know, I just decided I'd speed through it and give you guys some context on some of the comments I make in the future. We're back here. Um, I don't think I showed when I... What am I trying to say? When I recorded the edit, but everybody has their own rooms now or whatnot. Um, Hope is still in here trying. We're trying to get her to starve. It'll go to her. Well, she's just standing here in limbo. She's pretty happy though. Wait. Why? Why are you? Why are you not hungry anymore? Oh my goodness! What did you eat? What did you eat? <laughs> Oh my goodness, these freaking Sims. Is somebody else hungry? Because I might just swap her out. <laughs> He's hungry, but I want him to... Yeah, we're going to leave him in there. He doesn't deserve to starve to death. He has babies. Oh, okay, so I did end up um, downloading a restaurant so we could get the puffer fish because I could not freak with those stalls. Like, it was just too much work. Hun, can you please put on some clothes? Like, what is up with these sims and just being naked? <clears throat> the lag is real. <coughs> Sorry, that was me eating. Okay. So here we are. I have no idea what the name of this restaurant is. I downloaded it from the gallery and I just um, changed the inside because it was a cafe before. But whatever, we're going to go inside and request a table quick. Yeah, she was about to go chat with Kathleen. We don't have time to talk to Kathleen. You got to die. Yes, strut. Your last strut on earth. <laughs> Okay, let's go quickly. I probably should have chose the table we wanted. I don't know if that's quicker or not. Oh, he's a handsome little old guy. Unless he just has gray hair. Okay, hon, can you go sit down? Oh, he has to guide us. If you can't tell, yes, I'm an amateur with dine out. I've made restaurants before and have owned them. 
but I have not eaten at them. So I'm not sure exactly how they work on this end. <laughs> okay, let's order right away. How I order? Ooh, bring out a cake now. Let's just <laughs> stick to the plan. Um, we're not gonna get espresso and pufferfish. I feel like that's gross. Pufferfish is sushi. Wine and sushi. Sushi. What is sushi? Wine and sushi. Okay, let's get our little puffer fish. I'm gonna assume that it's cooked well, so we'll just learn the recipe and she doesn't know how to cook, so we'll cook it poorly. Or try to anyway. I love how I forgot to paint this wall. We'll just pretend you can't see it, it's invisible. Here is our food. Where's that? There we go. And it's normal quality, so that's good. I think she's gonna eat automatically. No, she's gonna eat now. And then we'll be able to go home and cook it. Let me clear my notifications quickly. Constance is having a bit of trouble with those chopsticks. Is she eating with chopsticks? Am I just blind? Oh, she is. Is that her phone? Oh, okay, that's the way we probably should have sat at the table. Okay, well, she's going to finish eating and then we'll head back to the house. So, I'll see you then. <laughs> I put up the peace sign like you guys could see me. Ridiculous. So we are back and I have her going to go and cook one serving of the puffer fish. She does not know how to cook, so we are hoping that this is going to be something good. I don't understand why she has the rocket science skill. I don't remember ever sending her up, but whatever. That's not the point. I have no idea if plant sims can die from puffer fish. I feel like they should be able to, but if not, then we can always kill Alice and put her in Alice's place and let her die from the rocket ship. I was at first gonna do like a family serving so that if one failed, she could just eat it back to back. But I think that's dangerous with uh, another free sim in the house. Oh wait guys, I just got the notification. Wait, you eat your puffer fish. Can you eat that? I just got a notification that one of the girls are on fire. Okay. <laughs> You're just gonna stand there. Okay, wait, that was actually the wrong sim. Let me get you out. Wait. Alice. I don't want you to extinguish her too quick. This is kinda evil. <laughs> it's like so bad. It sounds like she's saying hot spot. Let me actually teleport you out of here because... No, why would you go? No, are you trying to put her out? Get out, get out, get the hell out. What are you doing? No, <laughs> let her burn. Get out. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> you savage animal. Well, now you go back in time out. She's just gonna go pee. <laughs> So angry with you, girl. So angry. How could you betray us? It's because you were supposed to burn and you knew it. Round number two. Uh, oh. <gasps> Damn, she just stabbed herself in the face. Uh, uh, kill at first bite. Uh, <gasps> the cow plants are ready. Uh, Oh. oh, they're not hungry yet. <laughs> I got so excited. So I think I know what I'm going to do. Since we can't seem to kill Constance with a puffer fish, I'm going to have her cook it one last time. Since she's the one who knows the recipe. And then I'm going to have her feed it to Yumiko. Sergio. <gasps> yes. Yes. 
You did it, you beautiful man. <laughs> With all the puffer fish surrounding you. So wonderful. Oh, yes. Perfect timing. Look at that. Go ahead and eat the cake. Eat the cake, you beautiful man. Oh, oh Winona's getting older. I feel like we got that warning already. All right, there you go. Oh, that's so sad that his wife is calling him as he's about to die. Like, guys, that is like the most depressing thing ever. Go ahead and eat the cake. I'm sorry, babe. Your wife was thinking of you when you died. Get out of the shower. With your Kindle body. <laughs> it's time to finish you off. Eat the cake. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Yeah.